Uh, now that you've had a chance to look at the film of the scrimmage, what do you think? Well, I thought it was good. I mean, I think um, we were probably a little further along, you know, honestly, than, than we have been really at any point, um, any spring training we've had. So, you know, that was I was encouraged to see that. I thought defensively we were in the right spots. You know, I think that's the, the thing I'm encouraged by is, number one, our effort level, I think, is, is increased. Number two, it just... You know, we're just in the right spots now. You know, we made some mistakes and some guys got beaten some one-on-one -on -one situations. But I thought overall, you know, our position on the ball was good, and thought the guys played with a good mentality, and I thought it was a good step in the right direction. You know, I thought the quarterbacks, um, you know, all played well. You know, I think it was good for us to see those guys in live game action, just to see how they, you know, reacted uh, to situations. To success and not having success, um, you know, and you got to see them versus a rush and how they, you know, how they handled the rush. And anyway, I was, I was, there was a lot of good things by all three of them, and there was a lot of, uh, you know, coachable moments as well. So I thought it was, uh, thought it was good. That's why you have scrimmages, is so you can learn those kind of things. You know, we had a, we had a couple of penalties primarily with the third group. Had some bad snaps, primarily with the third group. Had a, uh, you know, um, a crack back penalty that was good to learn from that, to be able to teach uh, off of that. So a lot of teaching opportunities. Thought it was competitive overall. Was pleased with it. Um, you know, was disappointed the way we followed that practice up with today. Just didn't feel like today was our best effort. And that's really the first time this spring that we have not practiced at the level we needed to, so I was disappointed with today, but you know we need to get better by Thursday. Yeah, is that just a sense of you know they had the first scrimmage? You know, I don't know. Just you know, put we off got, the gas. Yeah, we've got to just not not have it. You know yeah. what I mean? We talk about we want to take that next step as a program. And you can't have a, a day like today. So, so again, a good learning opportunity for us all, and and uh, you know, you got to make sure it doesn't happen again. Dylan Goffney had some really nice plays in the scrimmage. How quickly has he come along that you've seen? Yeah, I mean, I think Dylan and Bryce are very similar. Uh, both the kids out of Bridgeland that are, you know, early graduates and, and early enrollees. Um, you know, they're both mature, smart, um, hardworking, consistent guys. I think that's the the thing that's good for both of them uh, is that you know there's a, there's a, a consistency just in the way they live their lives and the way that they train and the way that they approach academics just the whole thing and so that allows them to, to get off to a fast start as, as newcomers and um, I thought Dylan in the scrimmage made some plays um, you know he's still learning he's learning how to play fast he's learning um, you know how to make fast decisions and and so he's you know still he's still um, you know coming along um, and getting better but he's he's been good for a young guy so far are there any position battles that you think are, are, in particular, a little bit more competitive than even you thought going into the spring? You know, I'm hoping all of them. I mean, I think there's going to be some some battles on the offensive line. Um, you know, which we were, you know, we returned four guys, and you can make the argument five guys that have started extensively, and so those guys are battling to hold on to their spots, which is I'm encouraged by. Um, they'll be the same thing at. at um, the wide receiver position, I'm sure, with some guys trying to get reps and trying to get to that point where they deserve to get some reps. Um, you know, defensive front, the same thing. I think that there are several guys that have making strides and starting to step up at those positions. Uh, and certainly on the back end, I think that's probably going to be as competitive as anywhere else. Just you know, those guys holding off guys that have that have. You know, been players and have played in games, and um, you know we're still trying to get consistency back there. And and um, you know, like I said, I thought we were in much better positions on Saturday than we have been. Uh, but but you know, that's going to be a competitive situation. We're going to continue to bring in different players and new bodies uh, that we're bringing in the room to compete. And, and so it's, I think it's going to make everybody better. Uh, that camp you guys are putting together in June, uh, can you touch on that? And just, you know, obviously you guys are, it seems like a real small group of schools that'll be here that, that weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we've got a, 
we, we got a mega camp, you know, with uh, with a bunch of different schools, and we're trying to, you know, just get as many as many uh, high school players on our campus as we possibly can. Just just an opportunity to engage those players who really haven't had a chance to engage in a very long time, and so we want to be able to see them. We want to be able to get on our campus, be around our coaches, see our facilities, uh, see you know what SMU is all about, and then have a chance to hopefully work with them and teach them some things that are going to make them better players and let them compete. And so it should be a great, great camp. I think we're already at a thousand folks that have signed up already. You know, I would anticipate you know maybe a thousand more would be my guess. Um, so I think it'll be a big group. Uh, there's obviously going to be some good players here and a great chance to evaluate guys and, again, have them see what, uh, what SMU football is all about. And just lastly, any players in particular that have really stood out to you in spring, whether it be because they've made massive improvements or just been shining, I guess? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Kiki Burns has been somebody who's made a big jump, you know, making a move to defense. I mean, he's shown up a lot. Still learning, still got a long way to go. It's six practices, seven practices in. Uh, but I've been pleased with what he's done so far. You know, he's a guy that's shown up consistently. Um, you know, I think up front, I think Justin Osborne's made a big jump. Um, you know, I think Brandon Hickman's made a big jump. There's a lot of those younger offensive linemen that I think are really, um, you know, competing hard for jobs. Um, you know, I've been impressed with the, with the newcomers, with the early enrollees. I mean, you know, Preston Stone's years ahead of where guys typically are when they come into your program. You know, as I said earlier, Dylan and Bryce are both been, have both been impressive. Um, you know, I've been encouraged by a lot of those guys, you know, just in terms of, of guys stepping up. I think the, the thing you want to do is you want to get through the spring and see who does it consistently. You know, guys have had moments, but there hasn't been maybe as consistent approaches there needs to be at times. Um, so anyway, I think it's I'm encouraged by, by what I've seen. I'm, I think there's been a lot of guys that are that are continuing to get better, and we just got to keep our foot on them and keep grinding. Thank you. All right, thank you guys.